right, guys, yeah, we are uh, in the middle of another great information session about Day Trade the World, our wonderful sponsor here at Trader TV Live. If you have any inclinations or questions uh, regarding maybe opening a trading floor or what is involved in opening a trading floor and managing a trading floor, we're going to answer all of those this afternoon. Talking uh, more today about the tech, uh, technology side of things, some of the tools you have at your disposal, uh, as I mentioned, both as a trader and also as a trading floor manager. Uh, partner recruitment specialist Bilal is going to join us uh, next, and we're going to touch on uh, what everyone likes to uh, really discuss when they're starting out, and that is the uh, training platform or the simulator. A lot of people uh, like to spend a lot of time uh, when they're first starting in the trading world on the simulator, as you should be before you start trading uh, real money. Guys, whenever we are ready, let's bring in Bilal and uh, we'll touch on uh, some of the uh, some of the key features about TMS. TMS is a simulator uh, that comes with uh, P Pro 8, which is the software we use here at uh, Day Trade the World. There he is, Bilal. Good to see you once again. Let's talk Good about uh, TMS. Yeah, sure. Good afternoon, Brandon. Um, uh, well, we, we received lots of questions about TMS. Uh, because lots of our partners, they want to try first before uh, putting themselves into live trading. So it is very important to talk about this uh, this topic. And thanks for giving me a chance uh, about uh, discussing this thing with uh, Neil. So good afternoon, Neil. Uh, uh, well, uh, I have a few questions for you uh, regarding the TMS. Uh, well, lots of our prospective clients um, ask questions and some of them uh, they even complain that uh, why they have to pay for our TMS while there are lots of free demo accounts available offered by many other trading firms. So please tell us how different our TMS is from a random demo account offered by someone else. Yeah, uh, Bilal, welcome back. Uh, uh, glad to have you, and I'm very, very happy uh, to answer this question. From a couple of perspectives here, both from uh, running and uh, owning and managing an office, but also uh, as a trader. Now, everyone talks about how important simulation is because it saves you money to, to test strategies without putting real capital towards it. So when you're learning, uh, it's not costing you every single day. It's not costing you every single month. And, and the proof is really going to be in the pudding. So before I get into the specifics, I can tell you this. When I started day trading in 2003, traders went into a simulator for a few days. And then you went live because at that time, uh, the simulator wasn't a good enough representation of the market uh, for you to stay in there and actually learn. Now, on this floor behind you, our traders, when we hire them, we say expect to spend two to three months minimum uh, in the simulator. And the reason why we're able to do that is because uh, it is a fantastic environment. It, it does give you a good feel of actual fills. I mean, the important thing, guys, is uh, if you just have a random random demo account, a lot of the ones that are going to be free, you get what you pay for. It's not going to be different from paper trading. You can just look at a chart and say, I would have got filled here, and I'm going to get in at that price for however many shares I want. Uh, in, T in our TMS system, uh, it uses a real-time matching engine uh, data, so it simulates the real market. If you're waiting in a line in a queue that has lots of shares, it's going to do the best. And I'll actually put up a level two for you guys that you can see. If you sit here on the offer at like 64, 65, 66 and see other shares there, it will simulate you in line. And then as prints come off, as prints would come off, you will then have an idea of when you would get a real fill as opposed to, oh, it goes through the entire price or it prints one share. Uh, so therefore, you just assumes that you get a fill. And I think that's the kind of nuance that over years of development is going to give you that real feel uh, that you're going to want as, as, as a trader and as a manager as well because you know keeping those traders in the simulated environment is a very very important one and another feature which I want to mention uh, and this is important this why I actually had it on this page to start out with is two things one we always talk about this uh, as an advantage overall at day trade the world uh, and that is all of the different markets that we have available and everyone comes in and they want to trade the US. You want to trade the New York, you want to trade the NASDAQ, you want to maybe the, formerly the Amex. But there's so many other opportunities out there. And this list here is not the list of live markets uh, that, that Day Trade the World has. It is the list of markets you can trade in the simulator. So you can trade live in North America, pop into the simulator to get real, realistic quotes and market, and market information and fills over in, uh, whether it's going to be Helsinki, 
Amsterdam, you can go to Brazil, I mean Hong Kong, uh, the list sort of goes on. So if you're looking to expand your horizons as a trader or as an office owner, uh, then all of a sudden you can do that for a heck of a lot lower of a cost. And in those markets, because you might not come in with a, a background of understanding them, it's even more important to spend time in that simulator. And it saves you so much money. Uh, when Sean and I opened our floor, you know, and this was years ago, of course, this is like 2005, you know, we spent uh, actual money uh, on traders' losses when they were starting out within that first month. And that's something you just don't have to deal with as much anymore. Obviously, people have to go live at some point. We talked about how good the live environment is. But the key here, guys, that real matching engine tech, I can tell you doing spread trading, uh, it's, it's a valuable tool uh, for traders when they get in that simulator, Bilal. Uh, one more question, Neil. Um, what, what do you think is the most important feature of uh, TMS uh, from the trader's development point of view? This is, for me, uh, I'm going to answer this just strictly for me. I know every manager or trader is probably a little bit different, but, but Dan mentioned something, uh, Daniel Schlupfer uh, mentioned something when he talked about uh, the updating of uh, P Pro 8 software. Now, it would be easy to say people are trading real money in the live environment, so you got to make sure that's the most up-to-date, and uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to the simulator later, uh, later. That's not the way it works here. If we get a new gateway or we get a new market, it's simultaneous updates between the live environment and the simulated environment. And to be perfectly honest, I know that might seem counterintuitive to people. Why would that kind of effort be put into it? But it really does matter so that whenever you're hiring traders or when someone's starting out, they're getting the real picture of the markets real time day one and not having to worry about those changes coming in later. I'm learning on something for two months and then I go to the live environment and that's not really the way that it is. The other thing which, you know, I, I'm going to cheat and, and say a couple of things for you here, Bilal, is if we can come to my screen just for a brief second, there is this P Pro 8 manual that every trader has access to, every office manager has access to, so you can understand all of the nuances. I mean, literally, when Sean showed you guys in our last segment uh, all of the different icons and features available in P Pro 8 on that bar, every single one of them is clickable, you can read through the information, and it applies to both live and the simulated environment. So, the opportunity for you to know the ins and outs and study the platform and know that it's going to be constantly real-time updated uh, with, with, with the live market, those are invaluable aspects of any simulator. And like I said, you get what you pay for. If, if it's going to be some free demo account, it's, it's not going to be current market, data, uh, current market uh, realistic environment. You're not going to have a real matching engine. Your fills are not going to be realistic. And the truth of the matter is you're just going to be relearning some of those skills once you go live as opposed to taking advantage of your time in a simulator. That's great. Uh, and one, one last uh, thing, Neil. Uh, what, what makes this game as so realistic comparatively to other simulators for paper trading? Yeah, I, I think it, 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 it's, it really does come down to that matching engine. Uh, and then the other, the other aspect of it, which I think is a bit of a hidden bonus, is, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll sort of jump back to the level two here. There are hundreds of offices in day trade in the world with real traders who are professional traders, who are testing, who are, who are, who are developing strategies, uh, who are interacting with the markets. And if, if, I'm, in the if I'm in the simulated uh, environment and I place a bid, much like if I put a, a bid on Nikola at 20, you'd see, uh, see that reflected in the actual market data. Same thing's going to happen here in the simulator. Uh, you, will see, you will see it in real time. Uh, the speed is exactly the same, but it really comes down to that matching engine because if there's one thing about paper trading uh, that is a limitation, it's going to be, when you go in the real environment, would you have gotten that fill? Anybody can say, I saw on a chart that it ticked to this price, okay, I would have gotten in. I would have been short here. That's easy to say. You want to be able to see whether you would have gotten a realistic fill for the amount of shares that you were trying to get, and that is the one adjustment that, that I know for a lot of traders they're like, oh my goodness, when I was paper trading, I just assumed that I got a fill and uh, I was making so much money. Suddenly, when I, when I live traded or got to a real simulator, there was slippage. I tried to get in at this price. I had to pay an extra couple of cents. And you factor that into your strategy. In this simulator, you can learn with that realistic environment and factor some of those things in and pay those costs and learn, and learn without uh, having to spend uh, that real capital when you're putting in live trades. Like that's that's great. That's great. That's great. So thank you so much for these great answers and the information you made.
Thanks a lot, Bob. We're happy to do it. I mean, we make our money off of this system, so <laughs> I have no problems touting it because I use it every day. Great stuff. Thank you, uh, Bilal, uh, for stopping by once again. Uh, great information, and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. There we go, guys. We'll, uh, we'll continue along here. We're touching a little bit more about the technology side, some of the tools that you have available, uh, both as a trader here at Day Trade the World and a trading floor manager or owner. If you have uh, any thoughts or inclinations to uh, starting your own trading floor, we're trying to answer some of the most frequently asked questions this afternoon. I uh, hope you learned a little bit on that one. Let's go over to Valeria. Hey guys, thank you for this great information. Dear viewers, please subscribe to this channel and join our live trading show every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time.